Hey there, Victor. Good Saturday morning, everyone. After a little bit of cloud cover and a few showers late last night for some of us, we are going to be looking at some sunshine as we look ahead into the start of the weekend. Enjoy it because dry weather sticks around very briefly. Rain moves back into the forecast tonight through the end of the weekend and start of next week, and then temperatures really cool down as we look ahead into next week as well. Tower cam over downtown Detroit sunshine and a little cloud cover as you're waking up early this morning, starting off at 55 here in downtown Detroit, 52 this morning over in Ann Arbor, 48, one of our cooler spots over in Pontiac and 55 this morning as you work up down into Monroe. High pressure controlling the forecast, which warmed us up overnight. Most of the region running anywhere between five to upwards of 10, even 14 degrees warmer this morning over in Ann Arbor. But the cool down really moves in looking ahead into the first part of next week. High pressure over the UP moving in, giving us the sunshine to start the day, but it's short lived. Rain moves in as we go through the evening and overnight hours tonight. So we'll expect an increase in cloud cover through the afternoon into the evening with rain showers moving in by eight to nine o'clock tonight. We'll keep the rain showers in through the overnight till around sunrise tomorrow morning. And I do think we get a break from the rain for at least the first half of the day on Sunday. This later this run of clouds and radar tries to bring the rain back in by the mid evening hours Sunday night through the overnight and into early Monday morning as we're heading out the door back to work and school. But I think we keep the rain showers around to start the day on Monday before drier weather works in Monday afternoon and into Monday evening. Some much needed rainfall heading our way. No flooding concerns, but areas along and south of 696 could see upwards of an inch of rain before it's all said and done. Half inch to three quarters of an inch north of 696, so no flooding concerns, just some much needed rainfall heading our way. Once this system moves through tonight into tomorrow morning, temperatures really start to fall. We only head for the low end of the 50s by early on Tuesday morning. Now with this cooler air mass moving in overnight lows Monday night to Tuesday morning and Tuesday night to Wednesday morning we will drop into the 30s, so we could see our first widespread frost and freeze on the way looking ahead into next week. If you're heading to Cleveland for the game, Tigers versus Guardians that first pitch moved up to 108 this afternoon with rain on the way for Cleveland as well as Detroit 60s for the entire run of the forecast from late morning as the gates open all the way toward the first pitch. But I am looking for an increase in cloud cover over in Cleveland by the time they get to mid this afternoon. Rain showers in our forecast high temperatures into the upper 50s by the end of the weekend on Sunday. We'll keep rain in on Monday with some sunshine and then I'm holding on to an isolated shower up into the thumb on Tuesday. Tuesday with that northerly flow bringing in that cooler air, but then drier weather works in for the second half of next week and temperatures rebound. We're back into the mid 60s by the end of the week on Friday.